St. Thomas, Franklin County. On a cold, rainy October day, you'd think baseball would be the last thing anyone would be thinking about. But around here, you can't help but think about it year-round. This working-class town of 5,700 people owes that to one person, its favorite son, Jacob Nelson Fox. You can call him Nelly. He was just a super person. A super person who could play ball. For 20 years, a big leaguer, most of it with Chicago, the last of it with Houston. Just so happens, the two teams that played in this year's World Series. I didn't put that connection together right away. And, and, and then it dawned on me, I said, man, this is me. White Sox! White Sox! Go! Go! White Sox! And let's go! Go! go. Me too? is the fact that it was Fox who led the Sox the last time they made it to the Fall Classic. In 59, they were the Go-Go Sox, a national sensation, but still a world away from Franklin County, PA. And I remember my dad and I driving around in the car to find a place to listen to the game where, where the reception would come in, and, and we ended up up on a hill out this way. He did what he loved, his passion. Joanne Fox didn't need a radio or a TV to experience the series of 59. She lived it. We were just glad to be there. Because I tell you, it was always somebody like the Yankees or who there underneath us, you know? We were just glad we made it. Otherwise, we were never going to make it. And Joanne was right. It took 46 years, but the Sox made it back to the top. And when they did, the memories came back too. You know, they immediately had the old 59ers on there, dancing around and jumping, and I caught, saw Nelly faintly there, but I could see that, oh my, did we cry. Over his career, Nelly Fox had more than 2,500 hits. He was a 12-time All-Star, an MVP, yet he didn't make it to the Hall of Fame until 1997. He didn't see it. He died in 1975. Better late than never, some might say, about Cooperstown and about the Chicago White Sox, a team that Nellie Fox helped put on the map, kind of like he did for the small town of St. Thomas, PA. He must be smiling, sitting up there in, in his big shawl at the back, and, yeah, with a big smile on his face, saying, yeah, this is right. <laughs>